I don't even think I could see that. You guys have me up as a freaking Z fighter. What the hell, man? Do the thing. Do the thing. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode. Of Joining you today is your wonderful host, myself, Andrew, the Comic Crow. Please take it away, AG. What's up, guys? Origami here again. You can find me on Twitter at Aura underscore Gami and links to social from there. Hey, everyone. This is BPM Broly. Just find me on YouTube. Broly Power Maximum. And joining us, we have our special guest, the amazing, the ever so popular Dragon Bay Z. Is there anything between you and Emish at this point in time, Dragon Bay? Um, well, the only <laughs> like. Are, are you and Emish going to do reviews together or debate? <laughs> well, when we debate, he usually cries, so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's I stand with Vic going Super Saiyan. <laughs> Super Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi everybody, uh, Dragon Bay Z. You guys might know me from Twitter, Dragon Bay underscore Z, um, or on YouTube, Dragon Bay Z. I'm having so much fun with the voice. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm minusing points because you didn't do it like the Dragon Ball. Yeah, you didn't do the like. Dragon, dragon. Yeah. Dragon. Drop the dragon, dragon, Bay Z. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Dragon Bay, uh, since you're joining us today, um, can you please tell us a little bit more about yourself? Um, kind of what got you involved with uh, supporting the Kenyana? Um, what your thoughts are on the community? Uh, you know, just a little bit more about you. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'm obviously a gigantic Dragon Ball fan. Um, I met Vic about nine years ago at a convention in Phoenix. Um, it was the first time I actually met him and meeting him I knew already like he was the voice of Edward Elric. And then I were like found out later like he was the voice of Broly. But um, just meeting him like he was just like such a nice guy and really um, just outgoing and he just seemed like def definitely different than everybody else there. You know, I was even hanging out with Stanley because I got to give him an award that year. Oh, wow. But yeah, that was, that was a pretty cool Comic Con. Um, Stanley is actually the one that introduced me to Vic. Um, oh, that but... is amazing! That's incredible. <laughs> I know. Yeah, no. like, that was my first Comic Con too. It was amazing. Like, um, and as I was wearing like a Spider Girl costume that I got from freaking Walmart, and Stanley was like, "That's that's the best Spider Girl costume I've ever seen." I'm like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stan the man is awesome. <laughs> he was. He was amazing. He's he's such a cool guy. Um, but yeah, so that was my first encounter with Vic. Um, I knew people that worked the con, and they just like sang so many praises about him. And I love Full Metal. It's probably like my second favorite anime. So um, yeah, just uh, I wouldn't call myself like a super fan. Like I wasn't. I liked him, but you know, I wasn't like the biggest fan. Um, but on, um, on Facebook, I'm really known for my memes that I make, um, in sand, uh, shit posting groups and, in um, like just, just my memes. I'm known for my memes for Dragon Ball memes. And, um, I remember in that group, I saw stuff about Vic and my first initial reaction was like, oh my God, this is stupid. Like he's kissing these girls on the the cheek and you guys are like wanting to delete him like what the heck you know and this is right when it first came out and so i shared it to another group that i'm um pretty big in um it's just a it's a final fantasy nerdy group and just the comments on there like people were just like saying their experiences with him I'm just saying oh he's such a creep you know like it was really really negative and so i started to think like well you know i don't know the guy personally you know, like you never know what happens behind closed doors. So, kind of people um, were kind of just piling in on him. Yeah, pretty much. And so I was like, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna pass my judgment. You know, like I have no idea. I don't know this guy personally, so I'm I'm just gonna, you know, like that sucks. You know, but you know, like I don't know. There's no way that I'll ever know. And then the more that time started um, going by. Uh, like seeing these victims from the article coming out and saying, Hey, like, why are you using my picture? I'm a fan of Vix. I never said this. I was like 21 in this picture. And you're saying I'm underage. Like 
you know, they started debunking it. And so then I was just like, no, you know, like this, this is too weird. And then just seeing like how the other voice actors started acting, um, especially like Monica Rial and Sean Schimmel, like it was just, it just didn't seem right to me. And so that's, uh, I watched a video about Vic that was like kind of a fan um, made video where it was just a bunch of videos where he did stuff for his fans and you know and I was like there's no way this guy did this like no he's just like a no like there's no way you know and um, that's when I started getting involved um, so I had my backup Twitter because I don't I don't want to get involved personally especially from what happened on Facebook so I had my backup Twitter that I never posted anything I was like ah okay you know I'm just gonna use this and start trying to voice my opinion and from there like things just started taking off um then I started getting contacted by a couple of conventions I got contacted by uh some of the resin bowl rangers you know and I started getting a lot of information and then everybody was so focused on the court thing and um I did you know like I do support it I do support him going to court and I do support him you know like the GoFundMe and everything like that's all uh, great stuff and anybody that's supporting him you know I support them too I try to be very positive throughout this whole thing and um, then I just like what can I do more than just that especially with these conventions that I'm talking to you know so then I actually have a notebook you know it's, it's a couple pages long of conventions and um, I just started like really like working hard 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 on contacting a lot of conventions and um, just getting pretty much any information on how to get Vic back into work, you know, to get him where he needs to be besides the court stuff, you know? And, um, yeah, so. No, that's, that's really awesome. It. Yeah. And now you I'm put a lot of work with, into uh, it. <laughs> I, I do still like, I get maybe about 50, um, messages a day of people saying, Hey, what about this convention? You know? So I have to like flip through my book like there's 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 maybe about 12 pages of convention that are still um considering vic i, I can't really release those quite yet you know just because confidentially like i don't want to out these people i don't want them to get any backlash but there's a good amount of conventions that are still considering him to go to their event so like every day like i go through my book like oh no he might be here this day or he's gonna be there you know like so every day I, I answer a lot of emails still, and I'm kind of far behind on a lot of, a lot of it, but. Um, well, I mean, there's just so like, many, I would imagine. Yeah, definitely. And um, especially with this court date, it's gonna, it's really hard to see what schedules are going to be like, you know, um, I know there's a couple of conventions that have invited Vic that he, um, hasn't responded to yet because of the court. Mm -hmm. I know that for sure. So, um, I, A, A, G, and BP, do you want to jump in, ask any questions? Yeah, just real quick, a comment, actually. I would have never taken you as a memester. <laughs> Dude, I'm so big on memes. You've just been, like, yeah. you've been so positive throughout amazing. all of this. That's so funny. That's actually awesome. Oh my gosh. Like, I've, I have deleted a few memes because I love shit posting. Like, I really do. Um, but yeah, like I, I try to censor myself, you know, because I don't want to be too negative about the situation. But like memes are life, dude. I love memes. <laughs> <laughs> a shit poster with a heart of gold. <laughs> it's pretty I have funny. a conscience and it sucks for a meme poster. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think early on when I uh, found your account, your Twitter account, I believe you did start uh, posting a few memes. And I think it was in your bio that you were a memester as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, you've become like more of a prominent uh, voice now, so that's that's pretty awesome. And I think one of the things that I saw early on is uh, when you posted something about feminism. Was that you, correct? Yep, that was me. No, that was and uh, Emish made a video about it. Yeah. And, yeah, and uh, that was actually a really good article. So I, I it's still there, right? It's still on your Twitter. Yeah, it's like. Like I said, it, like this is the first time I started posting like two months ago, and I think I have like three thousand tweets now. I'm like, oh my god, like Twitter's taking <laughs> over my life. <laughs> I think we all feel that way a little bit. 
Yeah, so if anybody hasn't seen it, you should check it out because it's actually like really inspiring and it makes a lot of sense, especially with like feminism today. So um, it was uh, that and I think, uh, were you the one who started the Women for Vic? Um, I wasn't, I think it was actually Senpai. <laughs> Senpai started Women for Vic? He said something about it and I just, I ran with it. <laughs> and I actually run the uh, Women for Vic's uh, server Discord. Okay, we got to give a shout out to Senpai then. <laughs> yep, Senpai's avatar. Senpai's avatar. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it, it all makes so much sense now. Yeah. I think that's why they were calling him a trap. I, I think that's where the whole thing came from. <laughs> I was confused at first. <laughs> What, like, that was an omission, or what? What were you confused about? <laughs> <laughs> Just because I heard he um, used a voice modulator or something like that, and then the avatar, uh -huh. so I was like, uh... <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I um, need to go one. <laughs> so, yeah, actually, you know what? I, I'm kind of interested in what he might be doing in the future after the big stuff, because uh, I guess he was talking about wanting to do more political uh, content on his channel. Uh, anyways... <laughs> <laughs> got a little off topic. I've got a question. Uh, yes, please ask it. To me, though, please. Oh, to you. I mean, you never ask me any questions. You only ask the guest questions. I know, how rude, yeah. dude. We, we know rude. everything about you, Crow. Come on. Like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you turned your mic off once in a while, maybe I'd have something like <laughs> <up> that. <laughs> You can't prove it. You, none of you were recording guys, that. Guys, we're bickering during the. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there anything please, between? Please ask your question. <laughs> is there anything between you and Emish at this point in time, Dragon Bay? Oh my gosh, he told me. He told me you were gonna ask. Like he told me that you guys asked after you guys were done recording. Um. Well, see. You guys are making me all blushy. Um, Emish is definitely Ooh. like... <laughs> Stop! Um, I have a lot of respect for him. Um, and yeah, you, you guys could look at my Twitter. Like, You could definitely tell that I crush on the boy, right? Um, and I talk to him a lot. He's definitely someone that's really important to me. And yeah, I'm gonna just leave it at that. It's good enough for me. Well, all right. <laughs> BP, are you? AG, satisfied? I'm sorry, she's off limits. I was never. <laughs> 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 okay, so um, one one thing I, I did want to uh, get your opinion on was the news that broke today. I guess Jamie March has been hiding in her house. Oh my <laughs> god, I thought it was so hilarious. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I, I think I, I, I tweeted out because I, I think uh, Tug's video and then uh, Hero Hayes video on it. And uh, I'm like, I'm so confused. I thought they were ready for the lawsuits. I thought they were ready to face down Vic. I'm so confused by this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely, I want to meme that. But I got busy. Like, oh, man. But, oh, like, how embarrassing. Like, I, I almost feel bad for her. But um, she's not a good person, so I don't feel bad for her, but oh <laughs> right. my gosh. Just the way that those stories were presented, like the person who was serving her noticed that somebody was looking at them through the windows. <laughs> yeah, it's, and it was it's such comical. like a, they reported it so professionally too, which made it even more hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for someone who wanted his head and whatnot, you know, they were, they were so ready for the lawsuits, though. They were they were ready to face Vic down, and 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 you got Monica and Ron don't want to do their deposition. Well, they <laughs> the don't fear the beard, paper. you know. They don't fear the beard. <laughs> I love their uh their ship name, Moronica. I, I like that. Anybody else like that? That is the best name. That's Moronica. a pretty good name, Moronica. Uh, gross. Whoever created that, they were genius. Are you, are you still eating? <laughs> What? Never mind. BP, ask the next question. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted your whole opinion on this, right? Um, what, what's your, the the Casey guy? That's their lawyer. The, um, the 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 roundabout way he's been playing this. How how pissed off do you think the judge is right now? Oh, man. I think they're pretty annoyed right now. Like honestly, I would be, and 
it's hilarious to see on the outside. <laughs> But that guy, like, he, he just makes our case so much stronger, though. Like, I'm not even worried after seeing. They were, like, boasting this guy, too. Like, we're not worried. We got this lawyer. And he can't even answer, like, simple questions. Like, between the two of them, like, he's avoiding certain questions. And oh, oh, my God. He's Saul Goodman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Shane's out there saying he's, like, one of the best rated over and over each year. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, it's it, so it, much time. So if Shameless true. said it, you know it's true. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm still surprised that he can find anybody to like his posts after everything he's said and done. Uh, Monica likes his posts. He, he's tweeting at my brother, and uh, he blocks my brother. <laughs> my brother tells me, and I jump in, and I'm like, I, I asked him just like some basic questions, and then a day later, I get a notification, Monica Real liked this post. I'm like, my god, you are so pathetic. <laughs> oh, that's sad. It was the one like that he got. Mm, I don't know how to feel about that. Anyway. <laughs> Sometimes I do want to like his stuff because it's so hilarious what he's saying. It's just like, I like this because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You made me laugh. You get a like. <laughs> he automatically makes himself the meme for you. He does. He's, he's too easy to make memes. I, I think I've made, like, two memes about him, and I'm just like, this is too easy. Like, I can't even do this anymore. <laughs> now, uh, does anyone else know that Shane's legacy is going down as, like, the guy with the shoe and the soy milk? Like, does no one, like, notice that? Well, he hasn't done that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't seen very many stuff about his chair lately, though. Like, I, w I really like the chair episode for him. This is the chair. <laughs> I, I yes. think it's because uh, Shane's chair hasn't been as active on Twitter. I think he put it down, yeah, you know? He's he got a very new chair. active, he's just not Shane's chair anymore. Oh! Chair that makes so much more sense. <laughs> yeah, like he's never like off of Twitter. So, I've got a question for you, Dragon Bay. If we, or other members of the community, wanted to help Vic as much as possible right now, which con should we contact? Um, I've been seeing a lot of stuff on the East Coast. Um, for some reason, the West Coast just doesn't really respond very well. Or they're very cold or, you know, like they haven't even really had him very much as a guest in the past. Um, New York is going to be having him soon, which was really awesome. I think he still needs to confirm on that. Okay. Um, for them to put him on the website, but yeah, I did. I, I got permission from Liberty City to announce that, so I did last month, or yeah, like last month I announced it. But yeah, like basically, the advice I could give would be just to see what's in your area. If you're willing to travel like a couple hours to like the next city over, like definitely look into those conventions. Um, contact them on a lot of uh, these conventions too on their websites have a certain link that says suggest a guest you know hmm. um, so you could always do that uh, they always have their email they, um, most of them do have Facebook so you could message them on Facebook um, which is usually the fastest way to get a response is through Facebook I, I think the one key thing there would and I'm sure everybody always says it um, if you're going to contact the convention and just the guest be as polite as possible so that they know that the people that want to see Vic are going to be some of the best guests that they have there. Um, yeah, exactly. Like, I've, you guys know me. I'm always nice. Um, but I, I haven't got stuff like I've seen other people get where they're like, no. And, like, they kind of, like, down talk Vic. Like, I haven't got that at all. But um, I'm, I'm super friendly and I say, hey, you know, like, I was wondering if it'd be possible if, uh, we could get Vic to your show. You know, it's the year of Broly. Dragon Ball Super Broly movie came out. It's huge. It'd be amazing to have Broly at your show. You know, and starting off something like that, you know, I've gotten a lot of positive responses. You know, like letting them already know that I'm already a fan of Vix. And I don't know. I haven't had really any, like, shade thrown at me from these conventions that I've seen people do. That's good. I have a feeling if more people have done the work that you've done, then he would be listed at pretty much most of these conventions by now. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> what I'm basically gathering from what you're saying is we all kind of have a personal responsibility or prerogative to go and look out for these conventions, find them, and contact them ourselves. Mm-hmm. 
Like, I could do it, but I'm just, like, one person. And if one person's just asking for him, like, you know, it's not going to have as much effect if other people who are actually going to, like, I'm not going to be going to, like, Florida, you know. I'm just suggesting it. But, um, like, people who actually live in Florida want to see him, like, just send an email. Like, you don't even have to pick up the phone. If you're a shy person, don't even have to do that. Just send an email saying that, hey, like, if he goes to your show, I will go too, you know? Yeah. Well, being on the West Coast, I, I like you said, they, they haven't been as friendly over here. Um, but I, I think, BP, you're going to Anime Matsuri. I think he's going to be a thousand, right? Yeah, I'm super stoked. Um, I, anime I'm, anime I'm Matsuri was one of the few off, that's... So I can go. Oh, you might be going? I'm trying to get the weekend off of work. Uh, I work in sales, so it's a me, but... Um, I don't think it's it's too difficult to get a ticket. Um, I just need to wait until they announce our schedule for June and, and line up the time off. That'd be awesome. I could use a buddy there. Oh, really? That'd be awesome. I want to film there. Yes. You guys should, and you guys should live stream it. <laughs> and I will watch that. Ooh. There we go. That, it's going to be Man, my first be awesome. convention, admittedly. So I'm a little You're anxious. You're going to have a great time. You're going to have a good time. They're Dude, they're, they're great. Just uh, don't, don't, don't... Uh, don't cry. Are you gonna? Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna? Are you gonna? Dude, BP. Are you gonna cosplay as Broly? Because you gotta do it. Yeah, uh, you gotta. Uh, maybe, maybe not you this time. You have to. Maybe not this time. Are you gonna? Is that your face reveal? Is that your official face reveal? I mean, people will get to see me there, so you could count it as that. But I gotta get ripped. I gotta get jacked before I do that. I can't insult Broly. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta lose some pounds. You could use that, like, padding, like... Oh, that's true. They, they have the sculpted padding, you know? Just do that. <laughs> but I think, it's, I think it's easier because uh, uh got the, uh, the uh, Frieza armor, too. So mm -hmm. you don't have to go totally shirtless. Yeah, the... <laughs> the yeah. yeah, just go to the new Broly version movie. Come on. Use your imagination. Or you could even get that, um, like, that Under Armour that they have, that sand gear. You could even do that, dude. You don't have to be. It, it gives you the abs and the pecs, dude. Just, there you go. Yeah. Face reveal. Otherwise, dye I your think hair the... too. <laughs> yeah, dye your hair too. <laughs> let it grow. Start. Let it grow right now. Bike it and. It gives me like less spray. than a month. <laughs> Take some stimulants. Use some. Uh, what is it? Alien <laughs> Maine. Use that. Uh, Get some Rogaine, bro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 gotta go a Super Saiyan Four Broly. It's just hair everywhere. <laughs> Get some brogaine. <laughs> Broke. <laughs> How would you suggest people get to know of the cons in their area? Just a simple Google search, or is there a better method? Um, yeah, Google definitely helps a lot. So this is what I've noticed. A lot of the anime cons are the ones that pretty much dropped him right away. So that list that we see that's on that they're so proud of that he got canceled, it's just showing the conventions that are anime only, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but the Comic Cons that actually have like superheroes and, you know, Star Wars, that type of stuff, they're actually more open to it. So I would actually uh, recommend going to Comic Cons instead of Anime Con. Okay. And oh. I mean, um, yeah, because they're not. Like, what I've noticed is that they're not too privy on the anime, like, drama that's happening, you know? Just, oh, just actually, Google it, like, comic I hadn't thought about that. Or whatever. Yeah. I noticed that when I was doing all my research, and I was like, whoa, wait, what? He's, he's still possibility that he's going here and here and here? Like, okay. <laughs> you know, like, this is making sense to me. Like, that's, that's what Kick Vic wants us to believe, is that he's deleted from all conventions, but they're not talking about comic cons, you know, like, which are in my opinion, bigger than the anime cons because they have big stars like George Takei and Stan Lee and, you know, all these, like, Game of Thrones people, you know, so it's mm -hmm. bigger stars. And these are the conventions that Monica Real and Chris Abbott and them, they're not getting invited to because they're not that big of a celebrity, I guess. <laughs> like, they're, they're not as known as <laughs> I mean, they're like, oh, you're Vegeta. And then, you know, but Vic is known for being for the fans, so he's a little bit more known in the conventions. That's what I've and noticed. There's, there, there's a ton of crossover between a comic book fan and an anime fan. And mm -hmm. attest to that. No, it's uh, interesting because I believe he's going to Puerto Rico Comic Con this week. He is. 
Yeah. Yes. It's it's, it's uh, a very sweet for me because he didn't get to go to MegaCon, but whatever. At least he got a con, so I'm happy that he got something. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sorry, Crow. And there's like a lot of things that he had to cancel, like um. So he's still welcome at the Phoenix Comic Con, which I was so proud of. I was like, oh my god, like, why is my con doing this? You know, because that was my <laughs> my baby. Like that's where I got to be the Spider Girl. You know, like. Um, but yeah, he's still welcome there. It's just he had that thing going with his Star Trek, so he canceled that. You know, and Star Trek is so important to Vic. Every Wednesday, I'm actually in a group where there's about maybe about 20, 30 of us where we stream Star Trek Continues and Vic sits down and he watches it with us. And it's really cool. Like, he's so passionate about Star Trek. So I'm really happy that he gets to go. Yeah. Every Wednesday. <laughs> Star Trek is that, basically that is cool. Dragon Ball Z, you know? That's yeah. his thing. I, I saw him with the, uh, the where he's in the uh, the yellow shirt. He plays Captain yeah. Kirk. He plays Captain Kirk. If you haven't watched it, you should watch it. It is so good. And he's so, like, he's so charismatic. And he's a good actor. It's not just, like, the voice acting, but, like, he's actually a good actor as well and it's you yep. should definitely watch it that that's oh, yeah. his background if i'm not mistaken he sang and he acted before he came on to voice acting yes mm -hmm. mm. and didn't he also you know, direct really that Dur yeah yeah that, that's it's too, all 100 yeah it's all 100 percent fan made so it's him <laughs> and todd um have have requiring a couple of other people you know but it's like all of their own funds that they all put together to make it and it's it's an amazing series todd have is spot crow <laughs> <laughs> wait no really <laughs> damn yeah. okay i gotta watch this now i've got yeah. a spot no, in my I belly really, i like the new star trek uh start was it star trek discovery right i i tried watching it i, I just couldn't sit through it, it uh, the whole thing's on youtube yeah it's for free mm-hmm it's Crow. Look, I wasn't a Star Trek fan either, but I watched it because of Vic, and I had a good time watching it. It's entertaining. You know, I don't want to get any hate from any Star Trek fans. Um, <laughs> uh oh. Uh, no. Uh, Cut no, it. I was going to say something good. I was going to say something good. I just I never watched the original series with Kirk, mm -hmm. um, but I I did like uh, Picard. I, I love the Picard. People will agree with you. That's fine. I'm. I was not into Star Trek whatsoever. So there you go. I mean, a lot of that stuff came out from around the time we were born or before. Exactly. Oh my gosh! Look at this. This is amazing. Are you looking at it right now? I didn't mean right now. Like... <laughs> yeah, I've been watching. You should have known I was gonna look at it right now. <laughs> oh, come on. We're, we're the, interview. the guest is here. <laughs> Let me start with this. All right. So anyway, so uh, your YouTube channel, Dragon Bay. Um, mm -hmm. Do you, do you what exactly do you post on there? Is it prominently reviews or? Oh uh, no! Beeps, beeps, beeps. So I, I, have, I have about four shit post videos that um, you guys yes. might have seen, like the one of like Gohan fighting Cell. I thought that one was pretty hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Um, I'm actually working on one. It's going to be kind of controversial, so I'm still debating if I want to post it. Like it's almost done. It's Hilarious. Post it, post it, post it, post okay. it, post it, post it, post it. Here's, here's, I'll give you a clue. It has to do with a certain cosplayer. Okay. <laughs> and it's hilarious. Like, watching it, I'm like, oh my god, I've never, like, laughed so hard at my own memes <laughs> until this one. Um, so I have a couple of shit posts. I've just been so busy lately, so I have four videos that are almost done. They're not all completely done. And I'm kind of a perfectionist. Like my shit posts now, like those if if I'm missing like one little part and it's you know, a bad crop or whatever, that's fine. It's a shit post, that's what they're supposed to be. Um, but I have like some of the women for Vic react to Twitter posts. I have my first what I wanna do is gonna be Dragon Ball stuff. What I'm doing is I'm comparing the manga to the anime. So I have one that's almost done. <laughs> like I said, like I have videos that I need to work on. And um, after this week, I'm actually going to have a lot more time to work on those. So I'm hoping to have them up by the weekend. Were you going to be doing the uh, manga to the anime review? Is that going to be arc by arc? I'm not sure yet. Like the first one I did was just basically the first episode to the like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, the first manga or the first chapter or whatever. 
to the first episode. Um, I could do arcs, like, I, I'm not quite sure. I wanted to see, like, people's reaction to that first and then go from there. Because that would be a lot of content, though, now that I'm really thinking about it. Like, there's a lot of <laughs> yeah. 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 The entire arc. There's a lot the entire arc. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also saw you make a post that you may do the Prince Adventure manga review. Yes. Okay. That is one thing I do want to talk to you guys about. Um, so I've been working with Fantasy Soft, and they've been actually giving me a couple of their unreleased novels and everything, you know, asking me for feedback. And I've been reading these stories and. You know, first, like, I was thinking, I was like, well, you know, like, this seems like a really, like, Christian type thing. It pretty much isn't. Like, it, it, it's kind of, like, Christian based, but, like, the the whole, like, series in its own is, like, it's not, like, shoving Christianity down your throat, you know? It's it's just there. Like, you know, like how you have Alchemy and Full Metal Alchemist and you have, like, in Final Fantasy, like, the religion you know, the like, certain beliefs and stuff, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Um, it, it's it's like that, you know, and it's actually really, really good. And and Vic's character, oh my god, like this needs to be a thing because I'm interested to see how Vic is gonna play this character. Yeah, Prince. So Nye. he's yeah, Prince and I. He's he's kind of like kind of like a playboy, kind of like a <laughs> like perverted guy. <laughs> Oh my god, he's so charismatic too, and I'm like, Vic, like it's gonna be so awesome. And you know, just talking with Fantasy Soft about Vic's ideals on the character, it needs to be a thing. And I think I stand with Vic really needs to step up the game to help oh. Fantasy Soft because right now there's only like 14 Patreons, and it's only five dollars. And I'm like, okay, Wait, really? what's going on? Yeah, well, like it's Patreon, so it's like five dollars a month, you know. Yeah. They also um, had an you, Indiegogo campaign, but I believe they started their Patreon up. The Indiegogo, from what I heard, I didn't talk to them, though, about that. I, sh I should have asked them before um, we did this. It, but from what I heard, it didn't reach its goal, so it people got refunded. Yes. So I've shared it, like, maybe about five times last week, and I'm like, okay, like, I need to, like, chill because people are not going to pay attention to my posts. Maybe I'll do it, like, once a week, you know, but... It's really sad, like, if, if we're, like, wanting to stand with Vic, like, we should definitely be um, wanting to promote this company for $5. Um, where our mouth is. You know, yeah, and um, they want to start doing dubs, and with the way Funimation is falling, Vic's going to have a set job there if we could get help this company finish getting up on its feet, Yeah. you know? This is a long-term solution. And $5,000 a month with all these fans you know it shouldn't be hard for us to do we could get our GoFundMe to take him to court or take everybody to court but what's that gonna like solve after the court date's over you know everybody needs to start thinking about the future if they really want to support did you guys lose me i can't hear anything no can you hear us yeah, I'm, back. I'm back what the hell man were you trolling Wait, that wasn't <laughs> funny he got sent to another dimension <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, there's something when we're done recording, I'd like to talk to you about if you're down, if you got like five minutes. Oh yeah, of course. Super secret, top secret, super project. I love secrets. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, don't let me hold it up. BP, since you got banished and you've returned, um, feel free to ask the next question. Yeah, just my own thoughts on that real quick. It's a lot easier to rip something down online than build something up. Fantasy Soft is a way for people to help Vic in the long run. It's a way to kind of take back the dubbing community to pave the way for people like Vic who are basically blacklisted at this point from gatekeepers so that they can come back in the industry. And I think we need more than just Funimation. No, I agree. Um, the problem is, too, a lot of people kind of sleep on Fantasy Soft because they're so focused in the drama. I believe we were mm -hmm. talking to Amish about it last week, um, that everyone's just more uh, interested in, like, Dr dramatic things rather than uh positive things and fantasy soft is de lb jr the guy who is like running fantasy soft he's a great guy he's a good guy oh, he's so cool like i gotta watch anime with him yeah, <laughs> like no. he has a, like a streaming thing and um yeah like i gotta hang out with him and he's cool he's a very nice guy he responds to fans he's uh very humble uh i went and we we watched chucky one night on that rabbit thing he's a big Were horror you there? fan i 
was yes. there. <laughs> yes, I was there. Like I was there watching Chucky with him. And I uh, remember that. And then we started watching that one um, cat show or yes, anime. Yes. Yes, and he's a really good. So everyone, like, please support them. Go talk to them. They're they're very humble. Um, and uh, as far as you were saying about the Prince Adventure series, like the uh, Christian focus and everything, I don't know why that would be a turn. Like, I'm I, I'm no secret. I'm most hello. Uh, <laughs> um, I I've always found uh, stories in the Bible to be really entertaining and fascinating, and. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there's a lot of uh, things like uh, Moses and the Pharaoh have a wizard battle. It's <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Yeah. They're, they're casting so spells excited. in each other. I was excited about it. Yeah, for real, really? You have to make it sound like Harry Potter Part 5? Like... <laughs> I think it's a good no, way to I put mean, it. They're, they're so, they, I mean, the, the, these are, um, I mean, these are really old stories, but they're really... They're very entertaining. Um, <laughs> if you just if you stop focusing on well, I don't I don't want to be converted. That's not what they're doing. They're just telling you they're just telling you good stories, you know, good morals and everything. Um, I, I <laughs> I've been really interested in learning so much more about these. Um, I, I saw the uh, the link that you gave so that people could read the first chapter uh, uh, for uh, the Prince Adventure series. Mm -hmm. It's good. Is good people. See, yeah, that's the only thing that I've really seen that really talked about because it was like the origins, like it's the beginning of it, you know, and it kind of makes sense that they would put that in the story. But when you actually like are reading like the comics and the stories, like it doesn't really talk too much about Christianity. And the reason why I said that is like, you know, a lot of things like they make fun of it about it on like South Park and everything. It's like, just replace every other word with Jesus, you know, it, it's not like that. It, it's really not, you know, instead of like praising some deity that they would in other types of like comics and stuff, it's just God, you know, and there's nothing at all wrong with that. If anything, it makes things a little bit more relatable. Like you don't have to learn lore very much about it because it's something that's well known already. I mean, if I could describe it to anything and Please, if you disagree, please let me know. But I would, I would describe it like Dragon Ball fused with Thundercats. That's that's my vibe. <laughs> that's how he got me into it. As long as there's a schmerz. <laughs> that's that's yeah, it pretty much is because I'm gonna give like a little spoiler. So fantasy soft. I'm sorry. You guys told me out. I could talk about Ooh, it. Ooh, special spoilers. <laughs> but like they transform. These cats transform, and I'm like, oh my god, this guy's going super saiyan you know? yes. <laughs> it's, it's really cool though like i really want to see that come to life because it's just a novel and i just have it in my head you know so i want to see this come to life and i do want to see them not only like excel in that but i want to see them excel in dubbing too like i would love to see someone out take over dragon ball <laughs> you know yeah. oh my gosh that would be amazing now, you could correct me if i'm wrong <laughs> but wasn't the indie go go goal like Eight hundred thousand or something like that. It was also, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, it was also the goal was also for the Patari streaming service. Oh, involved okay. in that. I wonder if it was just the timing. Um, we had just kind of emptied our pockets for the GoFundMe, and then this yeah. other thing showed up, and people were like, "Well, eight hundred thousand is a lot bigger than one hundred thousand." Yeah. But you know, it, 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 it's it's definitely more ambitious, and uh, it's like Dragon Base. Um, it, it's for the future, not not just for Vic. I think for most fans who have been kind of put off with what they've seen with a lot of these uh, giant streaming platforms, um, you know, with with what Funimation is doing. Um, I, I think that when you have the company more focused on their fans, more focused on just wanting to do the right thing. Um, it, it, it's more ambitious, definitely, but it's something that we should come together as a community and start to support. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. this is the next evolutionary step. It's natural, and hopefully we can, as a community, come behind it. It's I stand with Vic going Super Saiyan. <laughs> Super Kitty. <laughs> but what was that? <laughs> <What> did, you... <laughs> did you just did you just meow? What? He just did. <laughs> you have to you have to open or end every video you do from now on with that. We are not editing that. I agree with this. I definitely agree with this. <laughs> 
I can like barely breathe, so it is what it is. You liar. So you <laughs> meow when you can't breathe? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, Repla- dude, re- redo your opening, but replace all the faces with cats. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just gonna ask, like, what what kind of content would you like to make if you could make anything? Um, I would definitely want to keep it Dragon Ball related. I do want to start streaming uh, the RPG that's coming out. I am definitely going to stream that. I'm actually trying to drag up to like play with me. But I prefer, I don't know, for my RPGs, I love my PlayStation. For MMOs, I do like to play on my computer. But I don't know, like for something like that, I'm going to be putting a lot of hours in. I like my PlayStation, you know? And um, so he gave me an ultimatum to play on the computer. So I was like, all right, I got my gaming See, Like, I will pre-order it. So I'm going to be streaming that. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about streaming more of the Dragon Ball game. Um, when Super comes out, I'm definitely going to be doing reviews about Super. Are, are you and Emish going to do reviews together or debate? Well, when we debate, he usually cries, so... Oh, no. <laughs> so I don't think want to scream. Shots fired, Amish! <laughs> That's it. It's got to come back it's on the show now. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you like Dragon Ball. Do you have any other favorite animes? Uh, for animes, Full Metal Alchemist. I like um, dark things, so like Death Note. Um, I haven't really been watching anime too much lately, other Are- than... Uh, I love Studio Ghibli. Like, anytime a movie comes out, I'm going to be grabbing that movie. But yeah, like, video games are, like, a big part of my life, too. So that's the main reason why I don't watch as much anime, because I play Final Fantasy XIV online. Mm. And um, I'm a guild leader of a gigantic guild on a legacy server. You know, so that takes a lot of my time. Um, Yeah, I, I watch random um, animes, and of course, I keep up to date on Dragon Ball. <laughs> I, I feel like BP found a way of circumventing yeah. that I wind up always asking. <laughs> Are you a JoJo fan? Oh, yeah. Uh, I've never seen it. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> Kuro, calm down. Calm down, Kuro. How can you meme without the glory of JoJo? Kuro, stop. Stop this at once. <laughs> <laughs> So you're saying I should watch JoJo? The whole show is basically a meme. Is it really? Yeah, it <laughs> yeah. totally is. Yeah, kind of, yeah. It basically makes fun of other shows like it, kind of. Well, other shows reference the shit out of JoJo's. Funny story, that's how I met BP. I was like, hey, well, not really met him, but that's how I, like, contacted him. I was like, I got an idea for a meme for you, BP. <laughs> and it was a JoJo one. He had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> Do you know how tough it is to explain how great JoJo's is? <laughs> never, who's never seen JoJo's, or has seen a little bit of it, and they're just like, "Where's the story?" Like, I haven't seen any of it. Like, I've heard of it, but <laughs> I've never like. I don't even. If you are there, character like I'm guessing there's characters. I don't think I'd be able to recognize any of them. Yeah, this is so I'm tough. sorry, Crow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Vic voice is one of them. Oh, he does. does yeah. He? Yeah. yeah uh, in part Ro- four, Rohan Kashibe, that guy. Yeah. Okay. It, yeah. I, okay. I've heard I, that one. Wait, have you seen the meme for that? <laughs> Which you, meme? You, Which one? Oh no, you haven't seen the Vic meme. Oh, it's, talking, it's hilarious. The one where he's like, "Oh, great!" Like an untalented. Like, Bitch, and like no one I like is sitting here. Is that is that the meme you're talking about? Yeah, so uh, I guess uh, it's Chris Sabat, uh, Amonic Real, and I can't remember. Ron oh, I saw that. Yeah, Ron- and I remember <laughs> somebody actually posted that and was like, "Can somebody mean this?" And I was like, "I got you." And then I got busy, and then someone did it, and they did a way better job than I would have. Um, but yeah, okay, I've seen that. Okay, okay. So I have seen a little bit of JoJo. There you go, Crow. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 something. <laughs> Still disappointed. <laughs> so disappointed. <laughs> Crow, look, this is like the third person that like doesn't want JoJo's. All right, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I got BP to start watching JoJo's. I'll get the rest of them too. I will watch one episode. 
It's oh uh, yeah. Yeah, no, it doesn't work that way. In my opinion, and if I like it, I will continue to watch. No, it. Or, you, you don't. You don't. You gotta. It? You gotta watch all of JoJo's. I'll just. So start. you're telling me that like the first episode's <laughs> not gonna make me fall in love with it? It will not make you fall in love with it. It's very hard to fall in love with. The- Part of JoJo's. It doesn't get good until two. Yeah. That sounds tedious. <laughs> no, but from there it just it blows it's, your mind. Yeah. The first the first part is like eight episodes long, and it's either fifty fifty if you're gonna get into it from the first one. But everyone falls in love with it in part two, for the most part. I don't know. BP, did you? Yeah. I mean, Jotaro. He's just such a troll. Oh my God! You made it to part three. Is that part three? It says season two. It's season two, but that's part three. You made it. Oh my god, BP made it. Past. Oh, you made it past part two. I'm so proud. <laughs> yeah, man, I've got the stands. That's where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, did, you did good, BP. Thank you, thank you. Take a bow. <laughs> Hit my microphone. No, yeah. The they don't. They don't understand us, Dragon Ball fans. Like it seems. <laughs> no, they really don't. Uh, wow, guys. I'm being. My, my original anime was Dragon Ball. Come on. Same. Yeah. I think I saw Tenshi Muyo, but I wouldn't call that my original one. Oh, I, I think saw I Tenshi. Saw that first. I that's love the one that. where that's like a horror anime, right? Where they're in space no, or something. Tenshi, <laughs> he's this guy that lives well, okay. Tenshi Universe. Um, was I think the first one I saw where mm. they're living in space and he um yeah, it's just this guy living with a bunch of like females who like but all the girls are from space, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Ooh, another good one is Trigun. Trigun. Yes! Ooh, love Trigun. Yeah. That just hit me in the feels. Oh my god. Dude, yeah, I know! Like, that's, that's one of the ones that got me watching anime. Dragon Ball and Trigun. Sounds if like season doesn't... two of JoJo's. <laughs> it's a Christmas album. It's like you guys are, like, sponsored by JoJo's. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Do you know how much swag we'd have if we were sponsored by JoJo's? Do you know how fabulous we would be if we were sponsored by JoJo's? <laughs> <laughs> click now. <laughs> yeah, click now. Order this JoJo's Gucci handbag. Um, anyway, Vic JoJo's has a Christmas is just album. life. He has a Christmas album and he sings Oh Holy Night with Johnny Young Bosch. Just throwing that out there. Anyone wants to download that. Who does? Vic Mignogna has a. Oh, his music is actually good. <laughs> I have his Christmas album. I was listening to this. Do you? Uh, yeah. Okay, what's the number one Vic song? Vic song? The Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood one. Yeah, Full Metal Alchemist. <sighs> the Brother song. <sighs> I don't know. Is that the name of it? Brother? Oh, Brother of Mine, I think. Yeah. Brother of Mine. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty Wait, good. That? What? Um, I, I didn't know he did that. Yes, he did. I told you that. Yeah. I love me some he We did? Are. You love what? I love me some Vic We Are. Oh, We Are. Yes, you're right. I forget about that all the time. You always remind me. <laughs> it's really energetic, uplifting. Also, the Dragon Soul. Dragon Soul's amazing, yeah. I hope he sings one of those at Anime Matsuri. That'd be sick. Ask him. Go to his panel and raise your hand and be like, can you sing Dragon Soul? <laughs> Come over here. I mean, I'm Let's sure sing he, a duet. Would if you were, if he went as Broly, man. <laughs> Yes, you would have no choice but to do it. <laughs> Especially if you went to the trouble to pull a Rogaine all over your body. Like, go ahead. <laughs> go Super Saiyan 4. Yeah. Do it, Broly! <laughs> well, do you guys have any more questions for Dragon Bay? <laughs> you know, just chilling in Discord with my boys. I had a good time. Yeah, me too. Do the thing, Carl. Right. Do the host thing. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in to another episode of the. My, oh wow, my mic is cutting out like crazy. Give me one mm-hmm. sec before I try to do this host thing. <laughs> 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 All right, let's try that one more time. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to another episode of The Couch. Um, let, bro, <laughs> maybe we're a bro, uh, take look, it. Look, I'm just gonna, Wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the thing. I got it. I think I got it figured out. Oh. All right, one more oh, time. Oh my I'm gosh, gonna... I figured out what the problem is. I figured out what it was. I had both mics turned on. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time. Other people are recording. We're, we're okay, probably. Well, ten strike, we're, Crow. Ten strike. It's worse because we lose you every time you cut out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to keep all of this. In. Three, two, one. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in to another. Crows. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was intentional. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, my name is Andrew, your host. 
the comic crow and has been crow, AG. Stop. Stop. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. All right, all right. Look, Tom, just don't say anything. All right, Crow. <clears throat> Thank you, everybody, for joining us on Couch Crows today. The host, Crow, he's here. He says goodbye to you. I'm Origami. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm on Twitter. You can find me on Twitter, Aura underscore Gami. You can find Crow on Twitter at a ASFCC. Is that your new one? Wait, can I talk now? Dragon, Just say dragon, yes or no. Dragon, dragon, <laughs> yes. Please. Okay, there you go. Dragon, and take dragon, it away, dragon, BP. Dragon, dragon, dragon. Thank you guys for joining us today. Dragon, you can find me on YouTube at Rolly Power Maximum. You can find me on Twitter at BPM underscore Rolly. And thank you so, so much for our special guest, Dragon Basie. Dragon Basie, go ahead and plug yourself. Take it away. All right. Well, thank you guys for having me. It was really fun. Like I said, just felt like hanging out with the guys in Discord. Um... Yeah, you guys could follow me on Twitter, DragonBait underscore Z, or on YouTube. I'll be uploading more videos soon, and it's just DragonBait underscore Z. Awesome. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your time, and hope you all have a good night. And we'll see you all next time. Joe, Joe. <laughs> I got that. <laughs>